My childhood was all about the arts when I, when I look back at it now. My dad was an artist. He was a painter and decorator who wanted to be an artist. And when he came home from painting houses, he'd pull out the smaller brushes and he'd pull out old bread trays or anything he could paint. And, and he would let that creative need uh, be expressed in, in whatever way. Uh, he played the mouth organ, he did all sorts of things like that. And for us children, he would encourage us unbelievably if you spilt tea and it stained the tablecloth rather than being given out to you were you were told that it looked like an elephant or it looked like a and he would he would bring magic and, and, and art into mundane things like that he also surrounded us with musical instruments and books and and, and all sorts in the hope that we would read and that we would play and, and we did we did um i came across boccaccio's decameron in that way when i was a child it was lying around the house the english not italian version and uh, I really enjoyed it and it stayed with me. Um, and then in my teens, when I read about the Renaissance and that Florence was the birthplace of this great explosion of art um, and arts that we now benefit from in modern society, uh, I fell in love with Italy. And then I went to Trinity and did Italian studies and uh, that love affair was cemented. So when I found myself at a, a creative um, impasse in lockdown and, and needed to try and express that creativity but was just confined here, um, I started thinking back to Boccaccio and the circumstances around his Decameron. And that was, of course, the Black Death, the Black Plague um, of the 1300s. So it was 1348 when the 10 young people of Boccaccio's Decameron left Florence to escape the plague and cocooned in a villa in Fiesole and to entertain themselves because they didn't have Netflix, they told stories. And I started to think of us similarly cocooned and um, I thought, well, why don't, we, why don't we tell stories? So I put a, a, a post up on Facebook just saying, look, does anybody want to get involved in, in a, a, a 10 people 10 nights, 10 stories, homage to the Decameron with a, a modern twist on Zoom instead of in a room. And uh, the result is the Decameron on project. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes. At the very least, we've had a great time being creative people sharing this experience. Uh, we've had two meetings so far, um, but that's been great. And um, at the, at the best, we'll have something that we can share with the world. So, thanks.